Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and I've been really busy lately. Uh, my brother, he got into the horse business, and we've been having a lot of glue orders lately, so we've been pretty backed up with that, but we're making money, and I don't think we're going to lose the house after all, even after what Grandma did, so. I'm running into a problem with my truck here, and I figured I'd show you guys the secondary method to remove the uh, spare tire in a pinch. Uh, so this is just some of the stuff you'll need. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into this and I'll teach you some stuff that the dealers don't want you to know. <laughs> so, uh, you know, your truck is going to come with this tool here and that's how you just get your, your tire off in a pinch. But, uh, so I've learned that you don't actually, you don't need, you don't need any of that. I use, I just have this Craftsman. Uh, I borrow, I'm borrowing it for, uh, I've had it for a couple months, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get geared up for you. And uh, we'll get this spare changed. Hey Jeffrey, he's running again. He's about 200 yards out in the field heading south. He definitely has the potatoes. All right, I got my safety gear on, so we're gonna head to lower this tire down, lickety split, and uh, then I'll show you how to store it for later use. So that's why um, you want to have some safety gear because if I didn't have these goggles here and I made sure I, bought, I brought the, the anti-fragmentation Russian uh, goggles, if I didn't have those I probably would have lost one of my eyes at least. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're like, hey, I just fixed my tire. Now I just got this tire sitting around here all willy-nilly and I don't, got, I don't know where to do, what to do with it. And I've been there before, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you now what I've learned. And if you, this is really hot to stand on. Ah, so, oh my gosh, this isn't any better. Oh, oh, oh. If you've watched any other the Baja truck stuff, which I really used to be in, into that as a kid growing up, you'll notice they keep their tires in the back of the truck. You don't want this to move around or anything. So be sure to secure it, and uh, if you want to run two of these bungee cords, you know, you can absolutely do that. And then, it's like, if like uh, Charlie's behind me, he gets a flat, let's say Pam's driving, and I can just hop in here. We can, we even have to stop. I can just crawl in the back here. I pop this thing off. Okay, usually it doesn't take that long. I'll just do this side. Anyways, Pam's driving, Charlie's radioing me. He's like, hey, I got a flat. That guy's trying... The horse is running away, so then I can just, bam, like this. There you go, Charlie, get that. And so then he's good. And um, so then he's able to, he's able to put the, the tire on, and we're able to keep on going down to the farm, so. And honestly, people are going to be double taking your truck when you pull up, because they're going to be like, is that a freaking rally truck from the Baja, or is that a Ford? I don't know. Yeah, uh, hit me up with more questions. I love making these tutorials for you guys. Uh, I know I'm changing a lot of lives out there. If you got any glue orders, you know, send them my my way. We're with our new recipe. It's only taking like two to three horses per bottle, and uh, we can barely keep it on the shelf. So I think it speaks for itself. It's uh, some really good material. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> How do you turn this freaking thing off.